Hey guys, Wicklings Gaming here, and welcome back to what could be the last episode of Lost and Random. And in today's episode, we're bringing even ho we're bringing Odd home. My apologies, we're bringing Odd home. Hopefully, we'll see how far the Queen has corrupted her, but hopefully, we can bring Odd all the way home. Oh, look at this throne room. The Queen's throne. It is from here that the Queen rules the fate of Random with the roll of her dice. But, where was she now? Where was she? A teapot? One croft, even in Odd's home. It was home. My family's there, and I miss them, but... But I honestly don't know where home is anymore. Freedom. It was a land and a family. Torn apart by an endless, futile war. A war the Queen instigated to keep the people divided and her in power. Yeah, the triplets could have done something, but they squandered it and so much elves hating each other. Five Tropolis, once a land of creativity and magic. Now, little more than a robot factory. There were good people there. We've all been twisted by her. And we can't even see it. We're fish born in a tiny bowl. And we look around and say, Oh, this is good. This is definitely how it should be. But we should be swimming in the ocean. <laughs> okay, yes. Not all fish can live in salt water. But we should at least be swimming in a big old lake. Just giving us a little bit more backstory on the towns, I suppose. It was in this very throne room that the queen would roll her dice to decide today's fate and personality of the poor inhabitants of Two Town. That's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> the idea that their fates should be controlled by the queen rolling a dice somewhere. You grow up with it so you think it's normal, but, but the whole thing is madness. Forburg, a fallen city built on the ruins of its past self. Another insane system. She pulls us all into her crazy solutions until we forget how things used to be and everyone in random is just, just lost in her madness. Obviously, She's Dicey wants us to go up so there with them. many, so much. Sixtopia. A glittering city of cardboard, made to give the poor people of Random something to aspire to. The biggest and most cynical lie of them all. This can't go on. Yeah, I hope we can do something about it too. Let's see. Mono y mano versus this the queen. The point of no return. Whatever the end was. Even and Dicey, we're going to meet it. Listen, Dicey, whatever happens next, I just want you to know. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm not too good with uh, feelings and stuff, but I just want to say I've never become best friends with someone faster, and we've saved each other's lives countless times. And, uh, well, thank you, Dicey, for everything. <laughs> <laughs> right, back at you, bud. Now, let's go kick that queen's evil butt together. Let's do it, Dicey. Come on. Ooh. What is this? Hiding, hiding. Is, uh, is over here good? Hard! Now then, children, inside that black dice is your ultimate destiny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, if it isn't the one from one town, even was it? Poor girl, you've marched all this way alone, only to find your own end waiting for you. Only I'm not alone, Nanny. And it seems to me that the only end I've been marching towards is yours. Oh. Nice. Such nice. 
Mono mono with Nanny. Nanny Fortuta, you have made a couple too many mistakes. You're always... Ooh, okay. We're getting bullied here. You're always... Come on, get on. Underestimating even. And now it's your downfall. You don't even know yet. Oh, yeah, I keep pulling those bombs out. I saw that, Nanny. We, j we just did a lot of damage to her. Yeah, we got her again. Let me give you some advice. Give your Nanny all the time. Nanny is done. Let me give you some dice. Don't mess with even. Don't mess with even. Not enough. We, she's done. <sighs> I suppose it is one's lot in life when one is a nanny to suffer doing someone else's hard work while they reap all the benefits. <sighs> Eventually, everyone leaves you behind, don't they? And any love they held for you is I want to kill her so bad right now. So bad. I did my job, child. I followed orders. And none of us would be in this mess now if you'd followed your parents' orders and stayed home. I'm going to stop the queen. Don't be here when I come back. <laughs> when I come back. Such unearned confidence. You know, everyone is so quick to judge her. But the queen really likes you even. <laughs> she stole my sister and tried to kill me multiple times. The queen is done. <laughs> well, there's a lot of that going around, child. You're not a popular person here. Now then, run along before you're too late. <laughs> I want to kill her so bad. Ooh, another war cannon. Let us climb to the top and stop whatever evil is going on here. What is going on, guys? Where's the queen? Where's the queen? We got questions we want. I what see. is this? Are you seeing this? <laughs> Through that portal? You sure it's safe? The opposite of reassuring. 
but okay. Come on, Dicey. Those poor children. It's it's so much worse than I than I thought. Is the black goo coming from their heads? Their brains. The black dice is mining those poor children for their nightmares. Their darkest dreads, their most agonizing miseries. Coalescing them into the dark fuel. Look at these poor kids. The robots, the dark twisting of the arenas, all of it. It's all powered by those helpless kids. Nightmares. There are few things more powerful than unbridled fear. This place, it, uh, it feeds on it. It's a sacrifice. Is that Bernard? It looks like Bernard. Isn't it? That is her. She's still alive. Oh, then Arj didn't kill her after all. She might not be as far gone as I thought. <laughs> oh, Odd. I hope you're okay. Poor Odd. Oh, masters of the one true dice, have my sacrifice has not been ample. Have you not long feasted on paranoia, bitterness, fear itself? I think we're about to Are you not satisfied? Have I not been good to you, my three lords? Since that Guess we're first doing this. Of your summoning. Let's do it, guys. You have given me power over randomness since we first began our exchange, and we have both found it profitable. But I have no heir, and I cannot let this great work falter. I beg you for just one more boon, just a taste of your power. Look at Even. Her hair keeps popping up. I wonder if she's a. Uh... Never mind. I was about to say if she wasn't just going to get caught, but it appears we're safe. I wish to share my dominion over chance itself with my successor. Just as I once did to you, this child has proven herself worthy to me. She will please you, just as I have. She will keep up my end of the bargain, so that you can keep up yours. I don't like this. I do not like this. Where are we? My dark lords, I beseech you, let my power be shared, and I swear that two souls shall then worship you evermore. Manny, not right now, please. Is he going to stay hidden? Right. I have no idea how I got here either. But you're here, I'm here, and no matter how the cards are stacked, we still have hope. And the chance to do some business. Uh, this isn't the time for idle chit-chat, Manny. Let's trade. Been a trip, Manny, hasn't it? <laughs> it sure has. And you've been great, mate. So listen, mate. Cards on the table now. I want to help. You need something before your big fight? Because the way I figure it, if the Queen wins, then you lose, and I lose my best customer. My only customer, really. 
I know we try to keep things light between us, but you saved me, mate. Before you, nobody bought cards. I was in danger of losing the store. It's literally a box around you. Someone would take your body, I guess. Who? Oh, nah. Oh, it gets dark, mate. You're the only one who ever wanted to buy cards, and you saved me. So it seems to me you're just the one to save everyone else too. Heck yeah, I'm Manny. In your corner, just like you've been in mine all this time. Now then, let's get to it, shall we, matey? <laughs> There's actually absolutely nothing I want. But it's nice to check in on him the last time. Odd. Step forward. There's no more time. No, we're stopping no. all that. Oh, don't do it! What? You! I fought across your entire twisted realm to stop you to even. save my sister. And that's what I'm gonna do. Come on, Odd. We need to get out of here. Nobody's being held here, foolish even. Odd's free to go, if she chooses. So I should go with you now, even. Because why? You finally deigned to come see me? No, Odd, it wasn't like that. You need to... To what? To understand that my little sister, the one who's always had it so easy her entire one life, now thinks she knows what's best for me? Odd. Or maybe you're just jealous that I've grown up and of the power I'm about to receive. Is that it? She chose me, even. It is sad to see such pettiness embodied in someone so young. She's standing between you and your power. And remind me, Odd, what do we do to those who stand in our way? We destroy them, my queen. Ah, so we do. Oh no, guys. I don't want to fight you, Odd. Even you've always been so young. Far too young to see that none of this is about what you want. Odd, you need to relax. I can hit the queen. God, stop it. It's me. No, I cannot hit the queen. Is there something I can do other than I don't think that's doing any damage. You've always been pain, an annoyance, a stray little dog nipping at my heels. Oh, don't speak that way. And straight, put down. Wow. Strays get put down, huh? This is sad to see. You're doing well, Lord. 
I learned from you, my queen. She's not your queen, Odd. Ah. Ah. Yikes. Can't tell. Are they still coming at me? It might not be. Odd, 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 come on. Jeez, I don't want to kill her. I hope this doesn't kill her. Please, Odd. You don't have to fight me. Oh, I know. Soon I'll be so powerful that I don't have to do anything. Odd's really bad. That's crazy. here guys ah there's nothing in here for me too Oh my gosh, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Alright, I'm just gonna end you out. I'm sorry. Audit this time. Yeah. No. Dicey. Even jump. No. Not dicey.
Ah, Dicey. Sorry, that that mask. I I became so petty, so afraid, and oh, oh even I hated myself. Oh my no, gosh, no, guys! No, Odd, I love you. I love you no matter what. Even I'm weaker without her. Like everything good and strong in me is. <sighs> we'll help you, Odd. I've got some help. I see. Way? How did you? It's one of the Queen's secret passageways. All I know is she hated me poking around it. She then I say it's our best chance. This is my territory. Let's go. Your story ends here, you urchins. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, me and Odd. I offered you a kingdom and you chose the dirt. I see. Thank you. Come back here, you wretches. Did we make it out in one piece? What's going on here? Who is that? I don't know. The queen never. Don't touch her. Ooh. Who is this? Why are you holding her captive? It's your sister, isn't it? The one I was to replace. She looks so sad, frozen at the moment of her death. You know nothing! Nothing! Oh. Oh, even said this not today. Bring it on, Queen. You're ruining everything! Everything! And I won't let you! Oh, here's a crystal. Keep my distance from the Queen. Woo! Come on, almost there. Alright, let's see how tough this queen really is. Oh yeah, we did a good little bit of damage there. You're ruining everything! Everything! And I won't let you! Dodge through that, guys. Focusing on the queen. Trying to. I will ruin everything. I'll always protect her, you fool. I'll never allow you or any other agents of randomness to hurt my sister. I don't think I want to hurt your sister. I really don't want to. Or we'll get six here. Nay, just launch, launch that in the the mass chaos that's going there, and we'll launch some of our own nades strictly at the queen here. Now, do you finally see what happens when you embrace randomness? You die. How can you're ruining everything, everything, and I won't let you. Oh, we almost got her, guys. 
six. I'm almost gonna die too. That heal helps. That heal helps a lot. Did we stop her? Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> you see. I shot the dice out of her hand. To let her go. No, no! I won't let you die! If she dies, then I failed. That all of this was futile. This whole world can burn for all I can, as long as she lives. <laughs> Alexandria, I... I'm not worth it. Shh, don't say that. Of course you are. I love you. I love you. Please. It hurts. It hurts all the time. Even when time stops, it still... <laughs> Let me go, sis. I, I can't wait for you here, but I promise I'll wait for you there. No, don't. Don't. We'll play again, okay? Just you and me. Natalia! Just you and me. Sad, guys. Oh, guys, jeez. Jeez. Lord, come on, hurry! All right, guys, let's get the heck out of here. Oh, our game loaded in a weird way, so I had to cut you guys back and bring you back. Come on, Odd. Run, kiddos, run. A dead end! What are we gonna do? Wait, I left my hat in there! Oh, your hat's gone, buddy. Your hat is gone. Umbrellas for everybody? Heck yeah, Dicey. Heck yeah, let's go. Float down, everybody. Very cool. Yeah, even that lost. What happened next? Well, did you hear something? It's a long story. 
Wow. Wow. All right, how'd you guys enjoy Lost and Random? Unfortunately, it looks like we our story here has come to an end. A happy end, at least. We saved Dicey, we saved Odd. Uh, we're chilling, we're flowing around random. Who knows what they'll do next? But it seemed like the story ended on a happy high note. I always liked that. Uh, if there's future games that you guys wanna see or future different storybook games, let me know in the comment section below and I'll definitely bring those to you guys. Also, feel free to leave a like and a comment down below. Unfortunately, we are out of time though. As always, welcome to the wild side. Thanks you guys.